Hi, I'm Ed Lyle, I'm from the Arundel Equine Hospital. I'm here at Brendanstead to talk you through the stages of artificial insemination in the mare. We're here in the stallion collection area at Brendanstead. The most important piece of equipment is our phantom mare, affectionately known at the stud as Plastic Pam. We use a phantom mare rather than a, a mare that is in season for the stallion to mount. The idea being that we don't have any misbehaviour as far as uh, a real mare is concerned, we don't have safety issues, but also we don't have to worry about see, uh, the mares being in season. Um, it means we can collect semen 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So this is our teaser mare. She's being led round to a small pen just in front of the phantom mare. She's used to arouse the stallion. So this is the stallion, unbelievable Darko. He's, he's brought quietly into the collection area next to the Phantom. It's very important that the stallions are trained to behave really well when the semen is being collected. This is actually quite a dangerous thing to do. So the stallion comes and he chats to the teaser mare in front of the Phantom. You can see that Shirley's wearing a hard hat, safety hat, at, as is Jim who is collecting the semen. He wears steel toe cap boots in case he gets stepped on and he places the artificial vagina over the stallion's penis. The stallion ejaculates after approximately 30 seconds into the collection vial. So when we're collecting semen from a stallion, first thing we need is an artificial vagina. This is a water-filled uh, jacket, temperature of which is around 35 to uh, 45 degrees C. So Shirley's now taking a sample of the semen that we've just collected. She's placing it in the sperm counter. This works out the number of sperm cells per mil. And from that we can work out how much to dilute the semen with a semen extender to get an appropriate dose. We record everything. Interesting to look back over Stallion's records over the years to see how their uh, picture of their ejaculate changes. It's important to keep everything warm and at the correct temperature. Sperm cells are easily killed by what we call cold shock. So we try and keep everything about body temperature 37 degrees C. Shirley's now mixing a semen extender, and a semen extender is basically an energy source for sperm cells. It's mixed with a little bit of antibiotic, obviously, to prevent any infection, and it acts as a diluent for the waste products the sperm cells produce. Now she's just placing a small droplet of the extended semen sample on a microscope. The microscope stage is heated, again at 37 degrees C, so that we get a true accurate picture as to the quality of the ejaculate and we look at it down the microscope and work out what the motility of the sperm cells in the ejaculate is. Once we've got our ejaculate from the stallion extended it gets loaded into special syringes. These don't have black rubber plungers they're called two-part or plungerless syringes. The black rubber liner uh, inside the, the syringe would actually damage the sperm cells. They get loaded into these special containers um, these are polystyrene containers with chiller blocks. Uh, they cool the, the semen down to about 5 degrees C and it'll stay like that quite happily for 24 to 36 hours. And this can be shipped all over Europe in these small containers. So we've just shown you how to package chilled semen for shipping. This can be shipped all over Europe. Uh, these are these standards from this study is shipped during the, in the UK. An alternative to shipping uh, chilled semen is to collect semen from stallions and, and freeze it uh, in liquid nitrogen to minus 196 degrees C. It's frozen in very very small straws. These are half mil straws. Each straw is labelled with the stallion's name, where the semen was collected and what date it was collected. And they're colour coded to different stallions are different colour straws. Uh, and uh, uh, Basically we could use one straw um, per insemination 
for some studies, or it might be up to 10 or 12 straws per insemination for other studies. It gets stored in a canister like this. This is a frozen semen dewar. The straws are immersed in minus 196 degrees C liquid nitrogen. And they can be stored in there pretty much indefinitely. We certainly use semen from plants that have been deceased for 10 or more years and we found the semen to be perfect as though it was the day it was collected.